Welcome to my videos learning RT systems, M0FXB. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are looking at RT systems. I'm on the Yesu FT991 or 991A. So I can tell you straight away, it's, this is excellent software and it's so easy to install and to buy this, you literally just choose what you want. So FT991. I've gone for the $25 software because any, really any decent printer USB cable will work with the 991, $25 in the UK, it's about £22. And away you go, and once you run it, they give you, well basically when you buy it, they give you a serial number and um, your, your email and, and you've got it and, and, and it will download. So here it is downloaded and it did update automatically, but if you want to update it, you can go help import. Now I'm not an expert on this software, you can see my 991 in the background. I'm brand new to it. I've used it a couple of times. So let's just read the radio first, which is re recommended. So we'll go communications and get data. And this is when we get some instructions to follow. So the cable is connected. Turn on the radio. I haven't touched my 4800 BPS. Make sure catboard rate matches well. As far as I know, it does by default. Click OK and I'm going to click and you can, you, you can import your memory channels. And if you want all the the radio settings. So shall I just quickly show you what radio settings are? So settings, radio menu. So these are, you know, very, very in-depth settings, especially for a radio like the 991. And look here, look at all these things here. CW, RTTY, AM, FM, data, noise blank, quick split, home function. It just goes on and on and there's lots of tabs. RX, TX, operating mode, look at all that, group monitor, which I never used to be honest, but I'm sure that could be good, external settings, tabs, ETC, so that's what radio settings are, so anyway, there's so much more, but let's just read, get the data from the radio as recommended, and read memory channels, and did I follow the instructions? I don't think I did, so let's, let's well, we'll let that play out a little bit. Okay, so let's just go communications and actually read what it says. Click OK to start the transfer memory channels. Insert the US cable in jack. Turn on the radio. Make sure the board rate is the same. Click OK to start transfer data. So click OK. Right, it's probably my fault for cancelling it. Right, well, we'll pause that for now. Okay, we've read the radio. And let's uh, have a go at just adding a couple of channels. So we'll go to number 33 here. And let's put in, say, a normal two meter repeater. So we'll go one, four, five, uh, dot, six hundred, and click enter. Straight away, it already adds, well, it's kept it simplex, but normally it will add the shift for you if, if it's a repeater. So we'll go minus, okay. There you go. FM, we'll give it a name. So the name can be GB3WR, tone mode, we'll go tone, we'll select 94.8 for that particular one. We don't need DCS, Most, a lot of this we don't actually need, it's all digital stuff, we're not doing that now. So I think that's one, let's add a digital one, so we'll go... My digital hotspot is 438.575. That's my hotspot. It's definitely simplex, but we do need digital. So where is it? C4FM at the bottom there. And we'll call it um, hotspot. It's not a dual hotspot, just a single one. It could be DV Mega, Zumspot, you know, you don't need a tone. And that's it, and you literally will just send that to your radio. Let's look at other functions. So you've got file, external data. Let's choose the frequency list one. So for example here, you've got weather channel. So let's click that and click apply. And it's just added the weather channels to it. So I don't know if you can add to this, but we have other lists here. We've got GMRS. I think that's big in the USA. We'll click apply and it's added them. 
And of course, you can save this file, or you and you can send it to your radio. We are using a cable, but you could be if the ra if the particular radio you have does use an SD card. I don't think the 991 does. You could do that. And then we've got UHF. Let's do marine channels. Apply. See that? And now you've got all your marine channels. Let's have a look. What else we got? Here. Let's go into radio menu settings. Now, of course, with modern radios, they have so many settings. Um, you know, it's amazing the sets that they make now. CW memory here, where I've added a couple of... Oh, yeah, I was practicing with CW sending on the 991. My call sign's there. We've got scope functions. My call. We can change the color. Distance units, kilometers or miles. Group mode. TFT dimmer, LED dimmer, and CW settings there, RX, TX settings, operation mode. Yeah, we looked at this earlier, didn't we? So you've got that. Let's go to file, then external data. And this time we'll go to repeater book search. Now, here we can actually add repeaters. So we won't put all bands, we'll just put two meters for now and we'll just do a radius of say 10 miles okay and we'll put in my location as western my hometown of western supermare and hit okay <clears throat> and now it's going to find oh, i didn't find much did it maybe i should have put 20 miles should we do a better one then so we'll go file external data Read a book search. Are we gonna to have to close that one first? File, external data, repeat a book search. There you go. This time we'll go 50 miles. And we'll put in 70 sems as well. Click OK. Right, it's found many. So now to use this file, you do need to click create file. But don't forget, before you do that, you could tweak it, you could you could select a large amount and you can right click and 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 delete and think you know so that might be worth it so let's click create file anyway because i like that it'll put it into a file that's usable let's do that again when i did that the other day it populated it all here not really sure why it hasn't done that when i did it the other day it just, I clicked create file and it just created a file and it populated everything. Let's try something else because I don't think we can copy and paste when we're on this file copy. Let's try it. Uh, file, edit, paste. Click here. Paste. Yeah, well, that worked. So not sure why it didn't do that. Then you've got memories here, limit memories, home, QMB, preferences, there's another one. Transmit, oh right, you can, um, in your long list of channels that you look at here, you can decide what you want in the list and what you don't want. It will remove it. So, for example, tuner here is in the list and tuner is here. So if we, I'm pretty sure if we select that and click OK, Tuna vanished. Yeah, it did vanish. So that's pretty cool. The other thing it does, whenever you read the radio, it does open a new tab. So if things have, have gone wrong, and then you get the option to save if you want to. Click no. Or you can click the white page here and start from fresh. So we could now read the radio again, get data from radio. We'll close these tabs first. Like so, blank this one off, close that tab, and then we could uh, click community, or oh, we could send, let's do the send data and see what the process is. Send data, I'm not going to OK it, I don't want to go over what's there, and then you just, look, it's the same, you just click OK. It's that simple. Let's click some other things. Get data, edit, copy, paste. Oh, you can insert, watch this, insert. And wherever my wherever I've clicked, I can add a channel in the middle of things if I want. 
external input imports so you can import files so maybe a csv files different kinds of files memory files gps files possibly uh, if you're on d star insert channel delete we can delete channel clear channel move up and down let's try that click that and then we'll go there you are <laughs> okay file import send to tech support i know we can update by clicking check for updates memory channels quick edit commands oh well, that's, so that's information you get a lot of information on how to use everything there window what are these smaller little windows so you've got clear page open a file save a file cut copy paste print you can so you can print stuff up and down what's that it makes the arrow go up and down look save you under click on everything find receive frequency so let's go one four five dot six hundred and then go okay and then it, find, it finds anything that's near to that not that it did so i think that's it really thanks for watching my channel please um subscribe and seven three catch you on now all the best